Once I retired, straight away I went to St. Luke's. I know about St. Luke's because when I was the uh, poly, uh, when I was the poly, I take my students for this uh, Saturday Sunday. I take them for uh, community work. So St. Luke's is one of them. So I went and I asked them. They said, "Yeah, you can join me." In my case, patient escort. They uh, they said there's some one patient's name and everything. I'll go there. Uh, 12, uh, 11, 10 o'clock appointment, I must be there at 9 o'clock and I'll get the history sheet, what they want and all those, any, uh, this thing and I'm call the ambulance, ambulance will be there, ambulance will come and take me. Sometimes I wait for one hour or something to see the doctor, then another one and a half, mainly the collection of medicine takes one and a half. So they grumble, they make noise and all those things, shouting at me, why you are in this thing like that, why can't you go in front, why can't you tell that? I said, I don't want to rush because I'm a volunteer. I am supposed to be in the queue. We are all our patients, no? <laughs> They're not the healthy people. They are also like you. But they won't understand, no? Most of the time, they scold me. What to do, no? So, the, the, one day I was waiting the, uh, uh, for collecting medicine. This chap was, I left because a bit cold, I pushed him and on the, mainly on the trolley, no? the, on the wheelchair. I pushed him behind and uh, I was waiting in the queue. And he was shouting him that I am, I don't know how to look out the number. The number is going, he's just still there. I said, that number is different from this number. He was thinking that, uh, uh, seeing the doctor one number, collection some medicine. And this man came and asked me, who is he? I said, I'm a volunteer. He's a Chinese man. I'm a volunteer. Uh, but the poor man, he is sick. And, he went and shouted at him, he, poor man, that Indian chap is looking after you. You're making noise on that. <laughs> 